Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Mama 5 Budgets. And today we are going to be doing our week five check-in and our closeout video. We are going to be doing our one, two, three, four, our fifth week. And I did pre-do some of the some of the trackers and stuff like that just so this video is not so long. And I believe, yeah, it's this one. <clears throat> so I'll go through with you guys um just so you guys can see like an overall of what we spent here at the bottom i have the key which i do it's it's really helpful because when it comes to close out the the videos i can just flip through and say oh for bills this week it was this much bills for this week was this much and then it's it's easier this week we only had one two three four five six seven eight nine categories that we spend money on the first one was debt, which was my care credit and my upstart. Gas was 45 for here, here, and here. Um, then for food for this week, it was $50.39. I believe we, we had went to my father-in-law's house and he gave us like some stuff for the fridge. Um, and then household was ten dollars that we spent eating out was 17 um for the we had to get dog food which was 25 we had to get um for like our bunnies was 10 miscellaneous was five and that was for a parking meter that we had to pay and then for our sinking funds it came up to a total of 129 dollars which was here and here so now this key we're gonna use it when we close it out but we are gonna put our expenses on our calendar I usually have this little sheet in my in my purse or in my wallet and I just kind of write every day you know whenever at the end of the day I write whatever I spent for that day and put it in there like categorized um, place every day the past is where it stays way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright and for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago This is how the last week went and now we are gonna track our um our no spend days this day would have been a no spend day it was my daughter's birthday so we spent on like two separate days now let's get our little no spend dots so we had on the 29 the 30 um, and that was it Oh, okay, so we only had two, which brings our end of the month total to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We were, we needed one more to, because I usually try to go for 10 no spend days within a month, but nine is better than none. I know a couple of days that that I could have like not spent and gotten way more like on the 5th, on the 3rd, on the 14th, 
um, and pretty, and on the 3rd of September. So that's how this looks. Now we are going to go to the back to close this month, this month out. It's like all the way in the back of the budget by paycheck workbook. <clears throat> so I already have all of my categories on this side and on the other side, but we're going to do this side first. And um, the first thing that we're going to go and do is. Okay. So on the expense trackers, you see I have like keys on them and it's going to it's going to make it easier for me to like calculate compared to like I have to go through each, you know, expense and say, oh, this was a bill. This was a bill like that. So I have the little key here. And um, so I'm just going to add it up. So I'm going to add. I'm just trying to make sure it's the first one. Yeah, so 140. For the month of August, we paid a total of bills, and this is not including debt. This is without our debt, just our bills. It is 2000 and I'm trying to not like mess up because I don't have my my other erasable um, pen with me. $2,011.44 in bills. Now we're gonna go and do gas. So this month in gas, we spent a total of 138 groceries. For groceries for the month, we spent $390.67, which is really good because I, before I believe we spent way more. And if you sh like, usually shop a lot of like sales and deals and Aldi's is the place for shopping for food. Um, so that's groceries, household. Okay, so in household this month, we spent $53.49. I don't think we spent anything on baby. I feel like we did, but I forgot to write it down. I don't see nothing here. Oh wait, there wasn't one. Okay, so it was one for sixteen eighty six. Then eating out it was one oh seven sixty three. Spending, I don't think we did any spending. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so spending was zero for the dogs. It was one. Oh, it was two. Okay. 26.48 plus. Okay. So for dogs, it was 51.48. For our bunnies, was. 20, 71, allowance, allowance zero, and then miscellaneous, Miscellaneous was forty two sixty six. So this is all of our budget or what we actually spent within this month on each category. And um, so that's how this looks. Now we're gonna flip it. I 
And then we're gonna go to this side where it says for the debt, which I already wrote how much all, like each debt I paid. And now I'm just gonna add it up just so we have our total for our debt. So a total of $637.30. So the last one on this side right here is our sinking funds. And I have those there, which I'm gonna add it. So sinking funds this month, it was a total of $439.00. 85 cents and looking back it was mainly because the kids started school this week so it was mainly like school stuff that we bought yeah it was made most of it it was all just school stuff and then i'm not doing the saving challenges for now um and that's how i close out my my monthly budget for bills everything is right here so i just gotta Put the number in. This section right here is from July. And then this one is from this month for August. And um, I do do the change. I mean, you can do the percent, all of that, but I don't do that. And so I think that's the end of this video. The next video, I am still waiting on the package to actually come so then we can set up, so we can set up September. But I am also waiting on um, my bill, my debt, um, what is it called? Let me go back to it. For my, which one was it that I'm waiting? For my care credit that I paid, I'm waiting for that payment to go through so then I can have everything ready to do my debt update video for September. And I don't think I wrote it, let me see. Yeah, see I didn't do for September yet because like I have the amounts here but I'm waiting for my care credit to go through so I can have the actual right number for you guys. But for now, that's this. I'm also waiting on the stickers to arrive. Hopefully, it's supposed to arrive next week. So then I can set up September. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And next week, whenever I do set up my September spread, I will announce my 4K giveaway in that video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I forgot to do our um, our little tracker for the new week and to check our coins and dollars. And I totally forgot. So let me do this one real quick, which would be for the month of September the 4th through the 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So September 4th through September 10th. And I just rip this and it goes in my wallet here, my A6 wallet. And you can find this in my Amazon storefront. That's from where I got it. And then, um, so that's done. Don't forget to use my fetch reward. My code will be on the screen. I believe right now you get 4,000 points and I get 4,000 points just by scanning your receipts, which turns into gift cards. Um, I've used all of mine for Amazon and that's how most of my unboxing things that you guys see, I use my points for that. So make sure to use my code. And I believe I, I, believe I did these already. So I already scanned them in my um, fetch reward and my receipt jar. For my receipt jar, I'll put the picture here if you guys wanna get the code for that is another um, reward scanning app. And I believe you get that one, you can do a little bit more stuff. Um, and then let's do our dollars. Let's see how many I have. All right, let's do our coins first. I have a couple, let me put this away. 
So I have, I don't think I have that much. Is that it? Okay. Okay, so this is it. Let's see, we have one. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six dollars. Which all of my dollars, I've just been putting it in this category right here. For my daughter's birthday next year. And let's see, we have, I believe we have like three left in there. So then, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We were like a dollar short. I think I have another dollar in my actual purse, but I don't feel like going to get it. But there's nine dollars in here. And that's that and then yeah now that's the end of this video guys um thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye